exciting summertime drop for Omega. Eight new watches from the Seamaster line coming with a summertime blue dial that gets darker the deeper the watch is rated for. Tons of fun nuggets to discover on every watch from the uh, engraving on the case back to uh, the dial. The most uh, exciting one being the uh, Ultra Deeps which has a reproduction very precise of the deepest point on earth, the Mariana Trench, or at least the deepest we have found so far. And uh, when you shine a UV light, you can see a fun little graffiti Omega was here. The next uh, watch that I really want to see is uh, surprisingly the other very deep uh, going watch. It is the Plo Prof. Very cool in blue uh, as well, but this time there's a, a few differences in the construction. It comes back as a monoblock construction. It's a bit smaller and uh, my God, the Pro Prof is the one that everybody loves, but so few can really uh, pull off. So maybe this will be the one. Uh, won't be uh, won't be very cheap, uh, obviously. Uh, it's a very uh, capable uh, watch. Apart from that, you know, I just got and I'm wearing today my uh, James Bond 60th anniversary Seamaster so pardon me if I uh, don't jump on the blue dial uh, new version of the uh, Seamaster 300M uh, but it's uh, very nice uh, as well and of course I also get my uh, green version of the World Timer so the uh, Aquaterra here uh, comes with a, another uh, type of uh, blue uh, dial for the uh, world timer as well well you can discover all the rest on the omega website or you can watch the very fun video from uh, time and tide andrew uh, always a uh, fun to watch him was uh, invited with the rest of the press on the beautiful island of mykonos i mean the blue of the background really matches the blue of the, the watches and uh, he looks like he's having a great time and well since we're on youtube i couldn't help but notice the uh, thumbnail for his video right below the thumbnail for the video of uh, of the guy he makes uh, videos with in uh, in london uh, adrian i think is his name from uh, bark and jack and uh, i had a quick look at his video from uh, his uh, studio and uh, because he had a sort of a clickbait thumbnail that says that Omega pulls a, a, a Rolex I thought well that's kind of weird what's he what is he talking about uh, because uh, everything is different about uh, Omega and I will never say that one is better than the the other I think uh, each brand is pushing the the other it's great to have a brand like Omega to challenge the uh, hegemony uh, of uh, of Rolex but but really um, one neither is better than the the other they do things very differently and uh, the omega experience is all about uh, enjoyment while the uh, rolex experience can leave you with a salty taste in the mouth and that's the biggest difference between the two brands it's really fun to go buy an uh, an omega uh, but yeah i watched his video and uh, clearly he's a bit miffed not to have been uh, invited uh, all uh, expenses paid uh, to the island of uh, Mykonos and uh, complains that um, it's because Omega wants to control the, the content and not to. If they'd come back and say, oh, Adrian, we don't like how you said this about that. It's like, mm, tough shit. That's, that's, that's the game. And so this is one of the challenges around Omega is that they're operating like Rolex and controlling what is said about their products. As a watch enthusiast, I absolutely love Omega. As, as watch media, I find them a bit snobby a bit elitist or maybe that's just my ego speaking and he doesn't want to have to edit himself in any way but i'm sorry buddy uh omega spends millions developing these watches bringing in the press and doesn't really need a youtuber to come and poo poo on the size of an index uh, the application of loom on a hand or how one clasp operates on a specific model and i think that's understandable but anyway, this is of very little importance. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments uh, what you think uh, about this. Uh, and most importantly, let uh, Omega know what you think about the watches. I hope to be able to present them to you on uh, my wrist uh, in a few days. Our favorite Omega rep in Hong Kong, Amanda, has already reached out. So stay tuned and thank you for watching, guys. Bye bye.